Okay. Um, we're here to do, demonstrate the how to uh, do the contingency, contingency table. Okay. Uh, contingency table shows the vacancies for two categorical variables x and y, where each cell represents a mutually ex exclusive combination of pair of x and y values. Okay. So we're gonna show that using a stack column chart. Okay. But first, we have to create a table. Okay, so what we're gonna do is highlight all this one, control all, control and A, control A, okay, and then insert pivot table, okay, and then do not click new worksheet, okay, existing worksheet, and then choose this one, E. You can put that in there, okay, um, and then click here, okay. Once you're here, okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, drag the vortices going going here at the column, the email going here, okay, and the location going here, okay, the rows. The purchases goes to columns, the, ro the location goes to rows, okay, and the sum of all of it, okay, goes here, okay. Um, you will notice that it sums up all of the values, okay, but it doesn't make sense if you sum that, okay. You have to count, okay. All of those who said yes and all of those who said no. Okay, it doesn't make sense because this one here, um, this is not a numerical variable. This is a nominal. No, no, no. Yeah, this is nominal, nominal data. Doesn't make sense to sum that. Okay, so you just have to change that to count. Okay. So from the analysis here, we have here the Midwest. Okay, um, 184, 107 said no, and 77 said yes, and the total is 184. Okay, so that's how convenient it is to analyze okay, from this uh, list of data here to this one. Okay, and after that, we're going to create a, call this, column chart stock column chart okay we just have to click insert here and then choose here we're gonna choose stock column chart okay so where are we okay uh, here okay so now we have this stock column chart okay let's have to name this we go to design okay gonna choose what you call is the aesthetics okay you choose here what are the designs okay you can choose this 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 one okay uh, for this we're gonna choose that one and then the layout the layout will be um, you can choose this one this one that one okay this one this one okay or this one Okay, or that one. Okay, so in here we're gonna choose this title here. Okay, uh, what will the title for this? Uh, contingency chart. Contingency uh, stock column chart. Any anything that you wanted to name your. Uh, your chart okay you can just name here the promotion what's this promotion location purchase yes or no uh, let's say uh, performance promotion performance okay okay it's up to you you wanted to use that so here we can analyze that uh, on Midwest, uh, those who purchases um, more uh, 
uh, those who purchase more are on the south. Okay? Here, because the total is 130 and only 24 doesn't uh, bought. Okay? Okay, so that's how how is it easy to create a stock column chart using Excel. Okay, there are a lot of designs here. You can choose whatever you want. Okay? And you can also add some uh, here, some quick uh, elements. If, if the elements here is not present, you can add an element here, like this one. Okay. Uh, center. Access titles. Okay. You can use that one. This, this is the access titles. Or you can add here vertical. Okay, so you can name here. Okay, count. Okay, just add name here. So count. Okay, and here area. Okay, that's how to do the uh, stock column chart using this one. Okay, see you again.